What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Main event of Crown Jewel 2024. It is champion Cody Rhodes versus champion Gunther. Full disclosure, a little late uh, with this live reaction. They have been wrestling opening bell at 3.48 p.m. Eastern Time. They've been in the ring six minutes already. Slow paced. Gunther is just toying around with Cody Rhodes basically the entirety of the first six minutes. So you didn't miss anything. Uh, not new, not too much to actually call, but we are keeping track of every match time. Just seeing where the average match time is. Usually it's around 11 minutes. This looks to be the same, or as of now, it's below 11 minutes with the first six matchups. This could be the first and only matchup to hit 20 minutes. Uh, match number one went 16, but there was a lot of post-match extracurricular activity with the bloodline. Sami Zayn coming out. But the match bell to bell was 16 minutes. Match two was 13. Match three, I believe, was 12. Match four was eight. Match five never even began. That was Kevin Owens and Randy. Um, and then match number six went also, I believe, eight minutes. So if this somehow is the first upload you are catching for Crown Jewel 2024 from the Amplify channel, there should be six already on the channel, guys. Uh, every match is getting a separate upload, a separate live review, live reaction. So hopefully this makes it a little simpler for you guys. Uh, whatever matches you do want to hear BC's thoughts on, review and reaction, you can choose. You don't have to sit through an entire full review and listen to a bunch of matches you don't want to hear about. So if there is other matches on this card you want BC's thoughts on live, it's on the channel already. Check it out. So this is the final of this seven upload series, the Crown Jewel series for Saturday, November 2, Crown Jewel 2024, the main event. So there was a lot to talk about in the first six matches, five matches. One, again, never got underway. So it's main event time. Gunther's still in control, although Cody just mounted a, a lot of offense, uh, fast and furious. <laughs> but Gunther eventually shrugged it off. He's in the middle of the ring. The referee is counting Cody out right now. Cody makes the count at, I believe, eight. Cody's trying to struggle. He's struggling, but he's trying to get to his feet. Gunther's going to help him a little bit. So while Gunther is kind of toying with Cody in the turnbuckle right now, I'll allow BC to take a moment to thank every single one of you guys, man. My veteran subscribers, newer subscribers, subscribers that may have just jumped on board to the channel. To every single one of you guys, channel members, veteran members, maybe channel members that just became members with this upload series, welcome. I appreciate you guys big time. Salute right back to you for showing that support to the channel. And if you don't mind, Gunther is still just toying with Cody. Let me give you guys a proper salute, man, uh, for trusting BC to be your number one source for all things Crown Jewel and all things pro wrestling. A big thank you to you guys. Salute. Okay, again, not much to talk about now. Gunther is just toying with Cody. Another good opportunity for BC. I've said this in several uploads today. If you guys want my thoughts on Baron Corbin, Tegan Knox, Indy Hartwell being booted from WWE, I give my comments on that, my thoughts on that. The honest truth, even if it's a hot take or hot takes, I give you guys my comments on that in uh, the first upload. That's the OG Bloodline versus Solo's New Bloodline. That was the first match of the night. So that's the that's going to be the upload. Will you you'll hear me talking about Tegan, Baron, and Indy. So there you go. And for those of you that are catching one through seven every single live reaction upload today, you guys are the fucking best bro let me give you another salute actually why, why cody continues to be toyed with salute now cody gets a boot up again this is a 3 48 p.m eastern time start we started recording six minutes into the match so technically they just hit 11 minutes 11 minutes of match time they're already sweating profusely gunther already looks like he wants to take off i gotta give a, a shout out too to everybody over in uh, saudi right now at the actual uh, stadium because 
the way they were singing to Randy Orton's theme song and to Cody Rhodes's theme song, in full transparency, there's just a headlock, like a sleeper hold right now on Cody. That's what I mean. You're missing nothing. I'm calling the action for you guys. The second it heats up or something happens, I will absolutely cut myself off and, and give you guys what's going on. But it's just a headlock. But the how loud they were, how they knew every single lyric to Randy Orton's voices and to Cody Rhodes's kingdom. That was louder, I believe, than France. That was louder than Berlin or, or any other country they've been in. I mean, <laughs> you know, a lot of people just crap these shows and the audience that attends, but that was loud, man. Even Randy and Cody had to kind of stop look around and go, damn, I got to take this in. This is cool. So it was pretty cool, man. They knew every lyric and they were loud. Randy Orton and Cody Rhodes, what entrances. Now they're doing the wave. Look at that. Um, slow paced. Cody is still just being toyed with. So what do you want to talk about? No, um, 12 minutes into this match now. Um, slow paced. No real action. But again, I, I will take this more than match number six, that U.S. title match, in just eight minutes. Nobody sold anything. They must have done 465 moves within eight minutes. Andrade, Melo, L.A. Much love to them. They had to do what they thought they had to do, right? Make an impact with just eight minutes. And there's three of them, not just two. So you have to let the third wheel do a bunch of moves too. So that's what I mean. Just make a champion challenger match one-on-one, -on -one, especially if you're only going to give them eight minutes, Hunter, because you're doing a disservice and an injustice to them. It's a detriment to these individuals. And nobody's going to be talking about what happened with LA, Melo, and Andrade, unfortunately. Did you guys see what happened to LA? Oh, ho, ho, ho. listen to my... It was the upload right before this. Match number six, the triple threat US title match. Oh, I feel so bad for LA Knight at the end of that match. That's all I'm going to leave you with. That's a little teaser. Oh, Cody's mounting an offensive strike now. Here we go. He's hulking up. He's hulking up 13 minutes into this match. This is what I mean. I feel like this is the one match that could actually hit 20 minutes. But uh, Hunter doesn't usually like to go seven match. He likes to five matches late is where Hunter likes to kind of hover around. He's probably pissed off he had to go seven. But there's so much advertisements, and there's a nice little suplex, a suplex by Cody Rhodes there, but really selling the back injury that Gunther has been working on through the first 13 minutes, to the point where Gunther got right up from that suplex and had it actually body slammed Cody. So Cody had no momentum after that suplex. But, um, but yeah, this is the, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, he's probably upset he's got to go seven. There's so much filler and so much advertisements that even only seven matchups, the average is still going to hover around 11 minutes. And that's even if this match goes 20. Which I see no reason that it wouldn't. They're going so slow that when it does pick up in the final three to five, they should have no problem crushing it suplex again by Cody this time it was from the turnbuckle so up on the ropes but just like the suplex middle of the ring Cody cannot get any consistency he cannot get himself together to carry on any momentum so I wouldn't be shocked if Gunther's the first to his feet again taking out Cody again which I'm fine with the psychology behind it is it's good You talk about slow paced. I mean, a minute just went by. They're not even, I mean, Cody just dragged himself to the corner. Gunther's trying to get to his feet. They haven't touched each other in over a minute. That's what she said. Here we go. Scoop slam. Nobody does that better than Dustin Rhodes and Randy Orton, but Cody just got a nice one, and Gunther's a big dude. Cody's now hulking up. He's punching himself in the dome piece. He's got the, he's got the, He's got the fist going. There he goes. Old school Dusty Rhodes. I got a bionic elbow is coming up. Little shuffle and a Dusty Rhodes elbow. He is hulking up. The crowd is into it. Cody's feeling himself. C 
crowd really picking up. Cody's taking too long acknowledging that crowd, though. This might be a detriment. Gunther might actually block the... Oh! He got him. He didn't get all of it. Not even near, but he got a... Uh, he got the Cody cutter, and Gunther just... He could have sold that better. Uh, they're showing a replay. This is, and when they do that, they're giving. They're going to give you the best look for them. And sure enough, it it didn't show where he totally blocked it. But Gunther could have taken that better. But it fits the story that he kicked out semi easily, right? Because Cody didn't get all of it. So I actually don't mind Gunther kicking out a little earlier on that. Because realistically, you can say, yeah, you didn't get all of it. That wasn't a botch. You just didn't get it. Oh, Gunther was hung up, chest on the top rope. Cody took his legs out and and literally just kicked him in the in, in the crown jewels. But Gunther like no sells it, and there's a Boston Crab right now submission on Cody, man. So there's been a few no sells by Gunther in this by design, obviously. Cody in agonizing pain. Right now, we are approximately 17 minutes into this matchup. I expect it to at least go 20, and it's easily going to do that. This doesn't look like anywhere near the climax of the match. I don't know if it's a hearing. To oh, nice suplex by Gunther there. He's going to probably... No, he's going to go right to the choke. Choke submission. The referee's black box in his ear... They're so obnoxious. I don't know if they just can't hear in Saudi, or it's a production thing, but... The referee black box and earpiece is almost as big as the those toy championships, the crown jewel titles <laughs> that Liv Morgan got earlier, and one of these individuals is about to get. I don't know what's bigger, the referee's black box or the uh, the crown jewel title. If you didn't catch one of the earlier uploads that I mentioned this too, um, Hunter earlier has stated that those crown jewel titles are not coming back to the U.S. They're staying in Saudi. So you only win it for like five minutes and then you hand it back and that's it it's almost like when you win the nascar daytona 500 you don't get to take your car back to the shop the car has to stay there for the next whole year until there's a new winner and then you can get your car back but it stays in their little exhibition center or you know all the exhibits and there's your winning daytona 500 car but this is there's an exhibit there in saudi arabia and those titles are going to be there it's probably only one title, right? And they're using it for the women and the dudes. I bet you that's what it is. That's why it ain't coming. That's why you ain't going to see them both with it. Unless Liv comes out after and celebrates with Cody or Gunther. <laughs> they both have it. I don't think they made two titles, did they? Cody finally got the upper hand crossroads. He actually delivered it, but Gunther was able to roll to the ropes. So he's either going to hightail it or Cody's going to try to make a cover and Gunther will put his foot on the rope. Right now, Cody's not even making a move to do anything. They're both on opposite sides of the ring, looking up at the lights. We are now officially 30 seconds away from a 20-minute match. First and only one of the night. Again, the first upload was almost 24, was 25 minutes in length, but a lot of that was what happened post-match. It was over five minutes, like nine minutes, right? It's a lot of time with when Sami Zayn came down there. They're both trying to get back to their feet. Gunther gets up a little bit before and he delivers a missile drop kick. Cody hits the turnbuckle, bounces right to a Gunther bomb. It is hit. Gunther is going to go for the cover one. Cover two, cover no. Two and one tenths, not even close. Cody kicked out right at basically just after the count of two. Um, just going on pure instinct. I actually like that. Sometimes it's good if you don't wait to two and nine tenths. So this looks like it's the beginning of the final climax of the match, right? You've already seen a... Uh, did you see the cross? Yeah, you saw the crossroads. Now you just saw a Gunther bomb. So I'm guessing you're going to see another crossroads and another Gunther bomb coming up. But they've already began the process. You just hit 20 minutes. I think the referee is getting word from H. The referee is going to relay that to Gunther and Cody. Begin the process to go home in this match. Gunther slowly working his way back to uh, Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes looks like he's just about done. A chop that sends sweat into the first five rows. 
<laughs> Cody's trying to like dip out between ropes just to get a, a breather. Another chop. Cody just wants out of that, man. The Ring General. I wonder if you're going to see Ludwig in this match. Or are they just going to have a clean matchup? That was the whole build for three weeks, right? Let's just find out who the best in the world is. Well, we did that a few years ago, and it was Shane McMahon, and nobody liked it. So are people really going to believe whoever beats the, the other is the best in the world? Probably not. Damn, Gunther's going chop for chop. Cody's like, come on, come on. He's trying to hulk up because he knows those hurt. So then Cody just started delivering his own, and they just started beating up each other. They literally just started beating each other up, man. I think both don't want to sell. It's been 20 minutes. They don't want to sell anymore for the other. They just want to de deliver some offense. They're hurting right now. Gunther with a vicious clothesline. He's going for another one. Cody is able to swing it into a crossroads. He is going to hit it. That's the second one of the match. He's going to make the cover. It's going to be one. It's going to be two. It is not going to be a three. It's two and two tenths. Also, Gunther, just like Cody, pretty much instantly kicked out after two. So now both are really showing the signs of war in this matchup. Cody looking like, what do I have to do? So pretty well done. 22 minutes into this matchup. So this is going to swell up average match time for sure. So this is what they were. That's why you saw a couple of eight minute matchups. Some have hovering 12, 13 minutes. One match never began. So you never even. Uh, that would, uh, Randy Orton, Kevin Owens went zero minutes. They did fight for nearly 10, though. We got an aerial shot here. Camera D. As Cody and Gunther try to regroup. Cody saying one more. I'm guessing he means one more crossroads. He's punching himself again. He's hulking up. He's going to pick up Gunther. Gunther's not easy to pick up, and that is showing right now, especially with Cody exhausting all of what's left of his energy. In fact, Gunther reverses it into a chop. He's going to deliver another one. Cody ducks. Springboard Cody Cutter? No. Into the reversed choke lock. But Cody flips over into a hold him down. One, two, three. Cody wins. Crowd, like half the crowd doesn't even know what just happened. I don't like those finishes, man. Man, I'm not a big fan of that. that. That was weird. I understand. Yeah, see, Gunther's selling it like, damn, you just got me out of nowhere. We're exhausted. I had you in the choke and you're rolled up. Because, guys, what happened is it was a crossroads, but Gunther was able to get him in that choke. But Cody, like, flipped his legs over his head, so he's, like, upside down, but kind of got Gunther in that awkward position where his shoulders are down. It's like a hold him down. And Gunther just got caught off guard, I guess. So, uh... I'm not hating it. I'm not a big fan of those type of things. But Gunther can say, damn it, you, you just got me. It works much better when you give him 20 minutes plus, right? WWE usually does this in like two minutes and there's a, a hold him down. And it's like, dude, you're fresh. You can't get one shoulder a centimeter up. You've got three seconds to get one shoulder just a centimeter off the canvas. But when somebody's exhausted after a 20 minute war, it works better. So I don't hate this, guys. Gunther just lost the match. Cody Rhodes is going to be a double champion now, a world champion, and also, or the undisputed universal champion. What do you call him this title anymore, man? I don't even know what you call these. He's a world champion. That's all that matters. And he's also going to have the Target Toy Championship known as the Crown Jewel title. I'm guessing Hunter's going to come to the ring and get some camera time, just like he did with Liv, hoist up the title with Cody's arm. I'm guessing that's what we're getting. We'll see. They're showing the replays now. Again, when they showed the crowd, uh, half the crowd were still seated. Like, is that, did that really just finish? <laughs> is that the finish? It was weird, guys. Oh, no. Mutual respect. Gunther just shook the hands of Cody Rhodes, just like he did with Randy Orton. And Cody shook his hand. And here comes Hunter to hoist up the time. More mutual respect. Now, guys, 
This happened in Berlin when Randy Orton lost to Gunther. And you guys remember, a week earlier, Gunther said, you're a failure, your father's a failure, your grandfather's a failure, and you're probably the biggest failure of them all. You're a family of failures. And days later, Randy lost to Gunther, and Randy puts his hand out to shake his hand. Not only am I going to shake your hand because you beat me, but I'm going to shake your hand because you insulted my whole family. Thank you so much. And Gunther, the diabolical heel, shook the hand of Randy. Made no sense. It was weird, man. So then when Gunther has to talk crap to Cody like he just did, nobody's buying it. And it gets worse. They just shook hands again. They had Gunther once again extend his hand to a face. So was Hunter's main goal just to turn Gunther face, which is stupid because he is the perfect heel at the perfect time. But look what he did with Braun Breaker. Braun Breaker is supposed to be a heel, and he's basically booking him as a face, right? Asking all the time, where are the dogs in the arena? Because he wants to hear the barking. That's pandering like a face would do. It's the same thing as yeeting, barking. What's Braun Breaker? Nobody knows. One, one week he's attacking Jay, then he's shaking Jay's hand. The next week he, t- he attacks Jay again. They don't know. They're going to ruin Braun before they even attempt to make him. Yeah, I'm amplified on that, guys. I, that, that's so frustrating to see them constantly shake hands. I don't know what Hunter's obsession with mutual respect is. Not everybody has to shake hands because the story doesn't call for it. Just let Gunther be the heel. Now, at least Cody, I actually see shaking everybody's hand. He wants to be everybody's best friend, and he wants to just wake up and look up, and it's a rainbow shitting chocolate chip cookies. But Randy shaking Gunther's hand still to this day makes no sense, and it never will. But I I just don't understand. So we're going to end Crown Jewel with mutual respect. I would have loved if Gunther just gets back in and just takes out Cody in front of Hunter. That's how I'm booking this. Um, but uh, there's some some big wigs, I guess, in Saudi Arabia in the ring right now with Cody and Hunter. Oh, they do have two titles. Yeah, Liv has her own, guys. Liv is out there. I called that earlier. I said Liv is probably going to come out there. So Hunter is lifting up Liv and Cody's arms with these giant toy championships. So the best in the world is supposedly Liv Morgan and Cody Rhodes. I don't know if you guys agree with that or not. Uh, you know, Shane McMahon might have something to say about that. <laughs> all the pyro that we've been saving up. No pyro on Raw, none on SmackDown. You're getting it all right now. Um, where's Gunther? Take out Cody. You can't end Gunther with another shaking of the hands, can you? Look at Liv, a heel, shaking hands with Cody and saying congratulations. That doesn't make sense. Liv is a diabolical heel with the Judgment Day and Dominic. Shouldn't she want Dominic to take out Cody? I don't care if they're different brands. Didn't stop Randy from coming over and attempting the Raw Championship title from Gunther. I would have had a plan, right? Send Dominic out there, or at least send him as if you're ever on my brand. I mean, is Liv a face now? Is Gunther a face? What's going on? What are we doing, guys? It doesn't make sense. She just shook Cody's hand again. Mutual respect between Liv Morgan and Cody Rhodes. Right to the balls, Liv. Right to the balls, and then Dominic comes in. Come on, you know it. Cody just lifted the rope to let Liv out. Total gentleman status. This is a love fest. Are there even heels anymore? Are there heels anymore? I'm, I'm genuinely asking, man. I know there's a lot of fans that are okay with this. BC, it was an, and it, it was an athletic contest. It was a good contest, BC. They're going to shake hands, and they want Gunther to, to still look good in defeat. And that's the card. Now we went to the Crown Jewel uh, post, post game, I guess you can call it. So there'll probably be a fight. There's probably a lot that's going to happen on this. Um, usually they go to the post show, and then something happens afterwards. Maybe, maybe Cody will get attacked. Who knows? Gunther, Dominic. Maybe Hunter. Hunter gets him right in the Crown Jewels with his sledgehammer. Another shaking. Hunter went over, went out of his way to shake Cody's hand again. Mutual respect. It's a love fest in Saudi. Oh, I tell you. We're going to stick with it, man. Maybe something happens. I don't, I don't know. So maybe something happens. They have Big E, Sheamus. Who is? Is that Jackie Redman? She looks a little different. 
Liv Morgan going up the rampway with both her titles. Maybe or Rhea Ripley's injured. She, she's on the shelf, so Rhea's not going to attack. Cody's going up. Maybe, maybe Dominic. Maybe Liv will have something here, man. They're both going up the rampway. Maybe they're, they're just going to probably be more pyro at the top of the ramp, maybe. I'm sticking with this. I refuse to believe that this is how they're going to end the show. I refuse. PC's refusing. <laughs> There's more, damn it. It cannot end with everybody shaking hands, can it? Is everything just going to end like a college wrestling match? This is the professionals. This is pro wrestling. You should be having the diabolical heels be diabolical and setting up big feuds for the next PLE. All right, this is our last chance. He's up at the top of the ramp. He's turned around. He's got both titles up. No, don't go to Sheamus. And nobody wants to see Sheamus. Big E, it's always good to see Big E. Jackie Redmond's cute. We'll see Sheamus. I don't know if I need to see Sheamus. Go back to Cody. Oh, no, that's that really is it. All right, well, BC was wrong. You know what? It's going to end in mutual respect. How's that sound? <laughs> Another PLE. Just like Berlin. What was the what was that? What is also Berlin with Cody and Kevin Owens, friend versus friend, face versus face, and they also hugged it out and shook hands. Was that the same event? It's a mutual respect love fest, and that's how we end Crown Jewel. If I was doing the good, the bad, and the ugly, that that's the match may be good, the finish bad. I just didn't like that finish, and post match ugly. So that would have gotten one good and three bads because every ugly gets crossed off into two bads. So that would have been the three to one. I am not a fan. If you're a new subscriber, you're going to learn. I can't stand mutual respect when there should be none. Okay, that's Gunther. He's a diabolical heel and he's best in that situation. Stop having him shake the hands of every fucking face. Sincerely, most wrestling fans. That's what I got for you guys, man. Seven out of seven Crown Jewel 2024. If you caught all seven vids, all seven uploads, you guys are the fucking best, man. I'm going to swig the rest of this coffee for you guys. Um, Raw will be next. A lot of content next week. We're going to start November off the right way. So until next time, and there will be that next time, Crown Jewel going off the air, BC and the unit going off the air. We're saying check you. Salute.